Is Conqueror best in Katarina? I have no idea. I feel champions like, like Katarina that get hybrid ratios are probably shitty for the game because they have a tendency to just kind of be stupid. Hybrid ratios kind of made sense a long time ago when the only thing ability power did was raise your ability damage and the only thing attack damage did was raise your auto attack damage and there was incredibly few overlap. There was like Trindomir's E, Ash's Volley, and that was basically it for abilities that scaled on AD. So the concept of a hybrid item and hybrid champions made sense. What if you auto attack and use abilities and you wanna scale both? But if you're like Jax, so there you go, there's hybrid, right? But nowadays, you just scale on AD. Like back in the day, what, if you were Tristana, all your abilities scaled on ability power, they were just there for base damage. You were just trying to buy as much AD and crit as possible to scale up your auto attacks while, you know, using the base damage on your abilities for the early game. Should Gunblade be in the game anymore? I think that hybrid items are actually shitty for game balance and do nothing really other than give hybrid champions a huge power spike at one item. And when I say hybrid champions, I don't mean like hybrid champions. I mean mages who happen to have AD ratios because that's what they are these days. And so you get mages who happen to have AD ratios who power spike really hard at one item. So like, Luden's Echo has, what, 90 AP? Gunblade's 80 AP, 40 AD? Like, when we look at Chunpo, right? Chunpo's getting, on Gunblade, 120 damage. If you built Luden's Echo, it would get 90 damage. Though so it gets even worse when you realize that Gunblade is the active, which also power spikes early game. You just get this huge power spike and flat damage, and that's really all it does. Like, no one goes Gunblade for the healing anymore. You just go Gunblade because it does a shitload of damage, and then you just kinda get the healing anyway. I think they need to go back to Gunblade having the uh, reload passive. I think they should lower the base damage to like 100, and they should give it the reload passive. In fact, they should really even take it a bit further. Make it 100, hell, remove the AP ratio even, give the item 10% cooldown reduction, then give it the reload passive. That would be much more interesting. What's the reload passive? It was anytime you hit an opposing champion with a single target effect, it reduced the cooldown by four seconds. So like an auto attack, a leap strike, a Kali's E, anything that was a single target effect reduced the cooldown by four seconds. I mean, hell, if they wanted to take it further, they could just make it hit anyone with an ability or auto attack, the reduce the cooldown. Strike. That'd make Gunblade a more interesting item because it would be like a uh, combo kill item. Get healing, get cooldown reduction, and and get a slow that does a minor nuke so you can go for kills. It used to have the reload passive. Uh, I think they should bring it back. I think Gunblade is shittily balanced. It's just a giant stack stick, stat stick that you use to just blow someone up because it just gives you a fuckload of damage. Doesn't really have anything to do with healing. I would say actually part of the problem in this game, as much as people complain about cooldown reduction, there's a lot of cooldown reduction in the game, but part of the problem is the 20% CDR items are basically required. Just because of how cooldown reduction works, the more of it you have, the better it is. And there's also a CDR arms race, where basically, if I get cooldown reduction and you don't, then all my movement abilities, all my survival abilities are on a lower cooldown, so you're gonna have a tough time. There's actually not that many options for cooldown reduction for most champions. Like, when you really break it down, actually, so mages have the most. They have Archangels, Ludens, Nashers, and GLP. So they have four items they can go for. They also have the Proto Belt uh, Hourglass combo. So really, they have five on uh, items they can go for. Bruisers have Trinity, Black Cleaver, and like two champions can rush Spear Sojin. But really, it's just Renekton. So Bruisers really actually only have like two builds they can open with. Then you have Tanks, who have the shittiest fucking cooldown reduction items of all time. And I'm gonna be honest with you. I think a big reason why tanks are performing so poorly is that their CDR items are not very good. I mean, to be honest with you, Iceborne Gauntlet is basically the Ezreal item. They nerfed Iceborne Gauntlet so it had less mana. Like, let's say they nerfed its mana to 400 or even 450 and then gave it a little bit more armor. That'd be so much better. Yeah, I, I think, honestly, they, they should do something on Iceborne Gauntlet. Like, I don't know. Like, they need to make it more of a tank item again. Just making it a giant ice field doesn't really do anything like maybe make it give it a second effect like oh wait 250 armor iceborne gauntlet does 50 percent more damage or something like that so it's not like that great in a rush but it scales a bit better or something i think what they should have done for atrox honestly i think they should have made it so his q does reduce damage if you hit multiple targets and then they should have raised the ad ratio of it just a tiny bit if you hit multiple targets his q does 20 percent less damage right but in return the ad ratio goes up from 
from 0.6 to 0.8 to 0.65 to 0.85, something like that. I'm not sure those numbers are exactly perfect, but you get the idea. If that's too big of a nerf, then you can always raise his armor per level a little bit, make him a bit tankier. You can like give his ult a little bit more duration, perhaps, in the late game. Like There's a lot of options, I feel. A lot of options. Why don't I play Aatrox? Because he's unplayable, broken shit tier. Like I said, five times in a row, Riven and Fiora buffs coming. Oh no. They're making the game shit, Twitch chat. Oh no. This is awful. Never before has Riot made the game shit. Now I really care. I don't think you're gonna have fun on Aatrox when his Q can't even clear minions. That, that's probably gonna kill your fun really quick. When you crit all three Qs on the casters and they don't die, and you go... Huh. I do kind of like Mundo Jungle. Mundo is one of those champion kits that is simple and hasn't really changed over the years and is still kind of funny. I think in the current meta, you need to have wave clear to be relevant. Pantheon has it. Darius has it. I don't think you can be relevant in the current meta without good wave clear. So I don't like jungling. I, I think jungling is like the least stream friendly role, obviously, because like you jungle and you just get ghosted every single time. I'll be honest, it's been a while since I've gotten this fed as a jungler this early. Normally, when I play jungle, no one ever fights or does anything, and so I kind of need to, like, ham-fist my ganks in. But this time, no, people are, uh, actually doing shit. It's refreshing. I need to actually show myself because I'm not exactly the healthiest motherfucker on the planet. Well, okay. You know what? I I'll do all the hard work here to a shit. Oh shit, that's an Infernal. Could we even have contested it, I wonder? Giving up Infernal kind of sucks because that could have been our late game backup. Welcome to the Mundo Zone, Blitzcrank. Wait, what the? Hi, Blitz. I feel bad for you, but not really, actually. I'll let someone else get this kill. It's not humble, I, I just need someone else to actually carry. I, I don't know how I feel about this one. No, I think even I think even Mundo struggles with the uh, fountain laser. <laughs> They're like, okay, we did it, guys. We almost killed Mundo. Good thing he didn't buy a war mall. Shit. A lot of people like to go approach velocity on Mundo, yeah. I'm not 100% on it. In Korea, he's doing quite good. But when you look at his global stats, if you use a website that doesn't only use Korean stats and you go to Masters Plus, Mundo is doing like not even being played. Like, he's pretty much only being played in Korea right now. If we look at Plat Plus worldwide, if we look at Plat Plus globally, you still see Mundo's doing decent in Plat Plus, but not into Masters. In Plat Plus, Mundo is crushing it right now, but just not overall. I don't know why they're buffing Fiora so much. I just don't get it. She hard counters so many champions. I think what's gonna happen, I think Fiora's finally gonna get pushed hard enough that 
she's going to be pick ban at which point it'll be too late she'll be an auto ban for worlds and the few teams that get her will just sort of hard carry the game off her by the way can we look at this yeah riven is definitely weak in solo queue right now oh dear god riot please please help her riot 